everyone, welcome to Musical Monday, where every Monday we talk about music. Now, because Lady Gaga's album Joanne came out, I thought it was appropriate that for this week's episode we don't break down the album, but rather talk about music that I find I really like from Lady Gaga. So here are my top 10 Lady Gaga songs. For this particular list, I thought it'd be only appropriate to include something that Lady Gaga herself has written um, or has personally sung in. I'm not including Cheek to Cheek, which it's, it's I'm pretty certain it would be its own list and I haven't even listened to all of it yet but I will only be including her solo albums, including any unreleased songs as well as any, um, any remixes that have been re released out in the universe. Number 10, Donatella from Art Pop. Now, Art Pop itself was quite the album that was being released, and I get the whole approach to Art Pop just being a way of creating a unique form of pop music. But Donatella is my, the reason why it's number 10 is because Donatella itself, I feel like that would be something Donatella Versace would actually say. And it's quite the dance beat, and it like hits it hard, it hits it strong. And that's why I, so, I like the song so much. Number nine is Monster from The Fame Monster. This being an EP was kind of a break in between The Fame and Born This Way was unique because Lady Gaga was now blossoming into something that was quite the the monster. Ha <laughs> so funny. In this particular song, I I grew rather fond to it just because I absolutely love the idea of with a man being considered to be a monster. And my favorite part of that entire song is there's a breakdown at the very end of the of the song where she she takes this guy and they go home and then he ate, he eats her heart and then he eats her brain. And it was just super cool to watch that happen. I thought it was absolutely amazing. Love that song. Number eight, Bloody Mary. Now, Bloody Mary is a very unique song. I think for Born This Way, there's a lot of like Jesus references to it and it's quite weird. But Bloody Mary is very unique in sound. It's also very relaxed and very, and just, calm but it still has that power that it that Lady Gaga usually gives in a track so for me I really like it it's a fantastic track so if you ever get a chance to listen to it it's super good I absolutely love it number seven is Paper Gangster from The Fame now I am going back to The Fame only because I think The Fame was quite the foundation that Lady Gaga set herself and Paper Gangster is unique because it was up until then, we had Just Dance, you had Poker Face, you had the, all, the, all the other stuff. Paper Gangsta lied within like the bottom of the track list where it was all the stuff that she wanted to put in there that maybe the label probably didn't want her to put on to begin with. And it's very rappy and it's got that nice, like strong, crazy beat to it. Number six is going to be Just Dance. Just Dance for me is my dance track. Like I can dance to that whenever and I love that song. So good, and that was one of the very first songs that I heard from Lady Gaga when that song came out. And everyone is like, I got into Poker Face. I got in during Just Dance. So suck it. Again, it's the typical like pop sound. However, the look in her music video is what I was kind of grown to. Like her paparazzi shield glasses, her jacket that had the shoulder pads in them. I lived for that look. It was one of my favorites and that's why Just Dance is one of my favorites. Number five is going to be Gypsy. Gypsy is a unique track because it kind of falls within the last two songs of Art Pop, and Gypsy is the one where you know Lady Gaga's talking about how she, uh, she wants to fall in love with someone, uh, but she can only do it for one night because she keeps moving. She always likes moving to different places, and she packs up and just lives in a, tra a travel, uh, a, like a tour bus going on tour, and that's what she goes to. And it's something that I've always thought about, of I've always wanted to kind of live the gypsy life, if you will, and like move from place to place and do different things because I love that idea and getting to see the, just the world around me. And I think Lady Gaga is in such a place where she gets to do that as a job, and it's one of my, I, I'm so jealous of her for that, and that's why Gypsy is something for me. Number four is going to be Come to Mama from Joanne. Come to Mama is is just, again, Joanne in itself is a completely different album from what Lady Gaga has released. 
and for me, Come to Mama is such a, like a, what's the way to, best way to describe it? It's kind of like um, Heal the World 1980s, but very, I, the, I couldn't even tell you how to explain it, but it's a fantastic track, and I started to sing it a little bit, and it's, oh my god, it's one of my absolute favorites. I love every second of it. Number three is the Star Smith remix of Bad Romance. When Bad Romance first came out, it was definitely one of, it was a strong, it was completely different from what she had done with the fame, and it was, she was resetting herself as, I'm going to be on top, and Bad Romance did that for her, and I think the Star Smith remix, I heard it and was like, this is a good track. What I, what I grows me to it is it reminds me, I pretend like I'm walking down a runway. Like this could be something that is used for a fashion show, things like that, and the beat itself is very, very exactly the beat I like listening to, and oh God, I could not take a second of it. Number two is an unreleased track called Princess Die. Princess Die is, it's kind of like a, trying to think, it's, she's imagining herself like of how she would die um, and how her funeral will look like and things like that. It's almost an amalgamation of, of Princess Diana and her death and the way that whole thing played itself out. But it was, it's a beautiful track. I don't know how I discovered this track, but she does play it during live shows. I know that the Born This Way ball, she did play it and she would sit on this huge chopper and would start uh, playing out the keys and she would usually have someone with her, like a, a yeah, like a, like a, an audience member playing with her and it was beautiful. I love the track. You hear the actual studio version? Oh, so good. I absolutely love this track. It's one of my favorite. Number one is going to be Speechless. Speechless is the one that it is such a strong, hard song. You cannot, cannot change that. It's so good. I love every second of it. And my favorite version of the song is a it's a mashup between When I Was Your Man from Bruno Mars and Speechless. And it's so good because again, both songs are piano and they fit so perfectly with each other and I absolutely love this track. So whenever you get a chance, I just like to listen to it and just relax and calm. And those are my top 10 Lady Gaga songs that I love and adore. Now my question for you is, leave in the comments down below, what are some of your favorite Lady Gaga songs? And if you've heard Joanne, what has been your favorite song on Joanne so far? Um, I think besides Come to Mama, I like the other one I really like is Diamond Heart. It's really good. It's it's one of my favorite ones. Thank you all so much for watching this week's episode of Musical Monday. If you liked the video, please do not forget to like down below and subscribe. There are new videos every single Monday and Thursday. All of my social media links, including the link to Return Home, The Way I See It, and my merchandise shop are located in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, my name is Forrest, and remember, Pancake. <gasps> Woo!